Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Cloud Op Junction. So, in this today's video, we are going through how to extend SCCM hardware inventory step by step. So, by default, SCCM collects a lot of hardware details and software details, but sometimes you need more specific information, such as whether a device has a SSD. HSD RAM or a specific software or a specific hardware that is attached to it and the details related to motherboard information or specific registry based detail configuration so those details can be identified uh, by default but yes if you need some further information uh, you need to extend the hardware inventory to show such uh, details okay you need to create a custom data for it using wmi class or a mob file or creating sccm reporting so in this today's video we will try to uh, extend the hardware inventory using a mob file and if you find this video helpful please hit the like button hardware inventory if i would say hardware inventory uh, hardware inventory allows you to collect data about uh, components on client machines all right so that is called as a hardware inventory this include CPU RAM uh, disk drivers network adapters and more SCCM collects these information through WMI and store it into the SCCM database uh, you can use SCCM reports or Power BI uh, to analyze these data. However, SCCM does not collect every single possible hardware details by default. But yes, there is an option you can extend it. So let's talk uh, with an example to collect uh, data from uh, SCCM from a machine. Uh, for a specific registry in this video we will uh, try to gather the information from a specific registry let's take an example uh, in our organization we have a specific uh, software or specific hardware or a specific registry that is being created on every single machine and that registry we need to export uh, we need to extend and uh, we need to get that information in our SCCM so to do that what we need we need to extend our hardware inventory uh, to to extend the hardware inventory we need to modify the MOF file or uh, modify the MOF file to extend the hardware inventory so now the first question that comes into the mind would be uh, what is a MOF in SCCM so MOF is a managed object format and uh, MOF is a manage object format file define how SCCM collects hardware inventory from client devices so SCCM users SCMs use WMI to retrieve hardware details and these and and the MOF file tells the SCCM about WMI class and the properties of properties to collections SCCM include default uh, SCCM includes default MOF files but we can extend them by collecting or adding details to it uh, custom MOF files allows you to define new WMI classes or modify the existing one uh, to collect specific details such as uh, again uh, it would be anything it would be hardware software or registry or if you wanted to collect the information about hard drive motherboard serial number battery health status and so on okay now uh, let's little bit talk about a uh, type of MOF file that we have in SCCM so we usually have two type of uh, files one is known as configured uh, configuration MOF file uh, that is located on SCCM server and the second is inventory agent MOF file and it is located on the client side so now we understand there are two types of MOF file one is configuration MOF file located on SCCM server the second is the inventory agent MOF file that is located on the client machine now uh, there is a location also path if I would say on the SCCM server 
I think this is my SCCM server. On SCCM server, if I go to C drive, program file, C drive, program files, Microsoft configuration manager, under configuration manager, you will find an option called inbox. Under inbox, you will find the option of client files. This one is the one and inside HWIN and this is the configuration MOF file. This is the location. So if I say what is the location for configuration MOF file if you want to, this would be the location for inventory uh, agent MOF file. There is a separate location that you will find on the client side under under C Windows CCM inventory temp and inventory agent .mof. Now the MOF file, uh, the configuration MOF file. This file is used only for a CCM server to define which WMI class should collect from the client machine. Okay, this is the one which is responsible to collect the information. When you modify the files. Uh, or when you modify okay when you modify the files the SCCM update the hardware inventory policy that sent to the client okay and uh, now on the uh, inventory side inventory agent.mov file uh, this file is used on uh, client machine to process the inventory collected from uh, from a specific request uh, when a hardware inventory cycle runs the client uh, reads the file and report the data back back to the SCCM and uh, this is how the inventory agent.mov file works. Now, all right, uh, this one have the active client. So we'll click right click on it, click on start, uh, resource explorer, hardware, and these are the hardware details that we have on this machine. So for example, there is a software called uh, SysOp software in our organization support. In your organization that we support or uh, this is the on the registry let's create a value called uh, test uh, test one and inside the test one let's create a string value called version we are which is 1.0 let's create another string value that is called build build version is 2.0 okay now to extend the mob file that contain this information uh, there is a key or there is a um, a tool that is given by Microsoft uh, team which is called as a uh, reg to uh, registry key to MOF. Uh, let's go to Google and find out that small software. It was reg key to MOF. This was the, if I'm not wrong. Okay, this is here. Let's download it. Okay, we have downloaded this raw file now. What we will do, we need to click it uh, open and it is there. Okay, now what needs to be done now? If you remember, we have created uh, it on HKLM soft. We have created this, uncheck, let's give it a name called, uh, let's give it a name, test1, test2. Class name is test, group name is test2, okay, and this one is the one. Group name is test2. If I see version is coming, let me refresh it. Uh, close. Uh, where is test one? Okay, is there now instance is test one. It is coming and this one is coming. Let's do one thing. Click copy. We need to save this configuration.mov to configuration. 
uh, we'll open it and we'll save it at the end okay we have saved it once this is saved let's check the log file uh, 12.9 it is inventory yeah inventory report view is completed okay now we have to copy this file let's close it open it once again and see system software test one yeah this is was test two uh, let's create a file close everything let's create a file on system on desktop called test dot off and save it here close now on configuration dot mof we have saved now we have to import the other file that we have created on desktop click on property hardware inventory set let's click on import test dot mof okay now it says following class is about to add import it will take some time and I'll click ok now if you have noticed let's go back on properties hardware inventory set class you might have find test over here let's search it test one and test yeah it's here build an OS version now by default it will take some time to update the hardware inventory so what we will do we will open the control panel and configuration manager let's click over here update update okay after some time we have to go back click on here and we have to wait for some time it might not updated yet because over here you will find the test which was early now it is not available but after some time the test should be over here so it's been a while now let's try to find it out and the inventory.agent log if we can find something about it so inventory file.inventory.temp it is if we remember the name what's going on over here I can see 0 2 that is the software inventory is updated uh, 00001 is usually for uh, hardware inventory so let's see 00001 let's copy this try to search from the bottom 02 is uh, your software inventory 03 is the collection in files and 001 is a hardware inventory so we'll go on quick find find we'll put it zero and make it up let's see if we can find something yeah zero one is here hardware inventory so there is a minor version one and major version is two yes there is a change okay let's do one thing let's uh, it's doing some actually it says it is updating so let's do one thing okay yeah we see inventory temp is there let's go back let's refresh this machine and see if we can find the cm01 start resource explorer hardware there should be called temp test yeah we have test over here test 
so under test more file registry dot key this was the key name we haven't changed it but build version was zero and key was 0 0.1 we haven't changed the key name that uh, but yeah we have to change it but yeah this is the one that we have updated so this was a small video how you can actually extend your hardware inventory if you really like it please like and subscribe thank you so much for watching this video